Hey guys, so today I am going to show you another face of the night just because I'm going out again tonight and um, we're going to dinner in a, a city that's like 40 minutes away and I kind of did my makeup a little differently today. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little bit more, um, well more in general. I use darker colors. I've never really worn, you know, black eyeshadows and stuff like that. So I try to do kind of like a classic side using black, gray, and white. And um, I'm really kind of liking how it showed up. I mean, I'm not going to say it's perfect or anything because I know the shape is a little off on um, this eye compared to this eye. But it's okay, it'll do, and um, I'm really kind of, not nervous, but I just don't want people to look at me funny and think like, I didn't do my, or that girl doesn't know how to do her makeup, what is she doing, like, I don't want it to look awful, and from what I see, it doesn't look awful, it looks decent, and I can wear it out, I'm just still a little insecure and kind of not too confident in um, my makeup abilities right now as far as you know applying eyeshadow and stuff like that instead of just doing the basics that I normally do but I'll just tell you what I have on my eyes and you guys don't hate me for this but it's gonna be pretty much the same thing I always show you just different colors um, as for primer it's always gonna be stay don't stray because that's the only one I have right now from benefit I actually do have a um, Kat Von D one I haven't used it yet though so maybe I will my next time. And then on top of the primer, I did my whole oops, I did my whole lid in um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese, just the shimmery white, like I always show you guys. Um, on top of that, I did most of my eyelid in Alf's Ivory, and then in the middle, I did gray silver color right those last I kind of just use them all I don't know I kind of just mix them and I put them right in the middle right there right there and then I smoked it out with this really 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 pigmented black shimmery eyeshadow from elf and this eyeshadow is so dark I literally just dipped my shader brush in there once and I like had to keep blending, blending, blending because it was so dark. I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, this is the finished look. It's a little, little out there for me um, until I start wearing more makeup and stuff like that. But overall, it it was not too hard, which is why I'm kind of skeptical as to you know if it looks good or anything like that I just don't know so you guys can be the judge of that and tell me if it looks awful or if you think it looks alright here is the final look and then for blush I just used my fox in a box um, blush that I've shown you before this time I used more of the pinks um, to kind of give me that flush look. I don't know if the lighting is going to show you that, but yeah. And then um, for lips, I am using my favorite Clinique um, Chubby Stick from Clinique. And it's just in red, and I love this. So yeah, um, that is about it. I'm just wearing a, a black cami, and then it's kind of cold today, so I'm wearing a like a black jacket. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a jacket. My vintage ring again just because I love this ring and my bangle again just because I love wearing this anytime I wear black. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this face of the night. Here is a look one more time. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Bye. Do you like it? I think I like it. I'm not sure if I like it. Tell me if it looks good. Does it look too bad or too good? Or Hi, guys. Makes me look different.
Should I wear my hair up? Should I leave it down? 